What's up guys, Sila here, and as a few of you have asked me to do is cover the new reputations in MOP and how to unlock them, how to do them, what you need to do, and what they'll give you in return. So I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to be covering all of them regardless of how simple some of them may seem, just in case you don't know where to find them or what to do or what you can actually get from them. Uh, the first one we're going to be covering is the Golden Lotus, and probably one of the more important ones, especially for people who raid. From them, regardless of reputation, you'll be able to pick up the Justice Gear, which uh, contains a few pieces of 458. Then at Honored, you'll be able to pick up a Valor Ring, which is 486 or 48 something. I thought it might be 487. I can't remember the exact item level. And then at Reverge, you'll be able to pick up the Valor Shoulders and the Valor Chest. At Exalted, you'll be able to pick up three different crane mounts along with a Golden Lotus Tabard, which looks pretty cool on my character. So to unlock the actual dailies, if you've not already done this, and there's a bit of a pre-quest that we need to do. So we're going to head to Kunlai Summit, and I'd recommend being 90 for this because you just won't be able to unlock the dailies if you're not 90 anyway. Although this quest can be done at 87, the later on quest in the quest chain cannot be done until 90. So we're going to head to the Temple of the White Tiger in Kunlai Summit, as you could see on the map. And there there'll be a large temple, we'll head inside here, and there'll be Orduin, and there'll also be Sunwalker. And they're basically trying to gain the trust of the, the Pandaren, basically to say that we're not all too bad and they should let us help them and stuff. Once you've completed that, there'll be a few mobs that you need to kill. You'll be sent to Kunlai Summit, uh, the, the gate in between Kunlai Summit and Valley of the Eternal Blossom. There'll be a bit of a cutscene and you'll unlock the gate basically, which then you'll get a quest to go inside Vale of the Eternal Blossom to the Golden Pagoda. Now from here on out is where you're going to need to be a level 90. Uh, you'll speak to an NPC here and he'll basically get you to go to your faction city, depending on which your horde or alliance, you'll be sent to one of the two bases. And then you'll also be sent to speak to the uh, Golden Lotus Quartermaster. All marked on the map, so it's pretty easy to find them. Once completed, you'll head back to the Golden Pagoda, and then you'll get a quest to go and help uh, in Gaolai Halls. Once you've completed the quest within there, you'll be sent back to the Golden Pagoda, and from there on out is where you unlock the dailies. In terms of dailies, you'll have four or five which start off at the Golden Stair. Once you've completed them, you'll either be sent to the White Petal Lake or Mistfall Village, and you'll have a couple of dailies there, and then a final daily which will give you like a chest like as a reward for completing your daily dailies. Um, and that's from Friendly to Honored. Once you reach Honored, you'll unlock a new set of dailies, so you'll still have your five at the Golden Pagoda, then you'll be sent to Mistfall or White Petal, and then from there you'll be sent to either Gaolai or the Setting Sun Garrison for your final five. So you'll have roughly sort of 13 to 15 dailies, I believe, every day. And that'll take you all the way to Reverd. It takes about two weeks of doing dailies to get to Reverd of every day, so you do want to do that. And once you do get Reverd, this is the important part, and um, once you hit Reverd, that'll unlock the Shadow Pan dailies and the August Celestial dailies. So pretty important, you'll not only unlock the Valor Gear at Reverd, you'll also unlock the other factions for doing their dailies. You won't be able to do any dailies with the Shadow Pan or the August Celestials until you hit Reverd. So make sure you get Reverd with the Golden Lotus if you do need the stuff from Shadow Pan or the August Celestials. Very, very important. Um, and then you can carry on to Exalted if you want, but that's only for the mount. Or as well, sorry, not only do you get a mount at Exalted, you also get a ring or neck. I'm not too sure which it is, but you'll have a quest at Exalted which will give you an epic ring or an epic neck, which are pretty good items, uh, if I remember when I checked them out. I'd know I need to pick up the one for me, so I'd definitely look into the ring or neck that you get from it and see if it's worth actually carrying on to Exalted. Now, within Veil of the Eternal Blossom, there's a lot of Mogu and Mogu-related creatures, such as like the, the Mogu statues and the, the Quillin. Um, when you kill the, the Mogu and the Mogu-related creatures, they have a chance of dropping an item called the Ancient Gaolai Cash Key. Um, and how you, if you've got one of them or you, you're trying to find one, they're on roughly a 1% drop chance if you do end up finding one. Um, you'll head to Gaolai Halls, which is where I showed you on the map a minute ago. Head inside Gaolai Halls, and there'll be the main room, and then there'll be three rooms like in here. So there'll be left, forward, and right. Um, right is generally always open. 
forward and left aren't open until later on in the reputation. So you won't actually be able to get through the doors. And there's always a chest active, um, a chest for you to use your key on, but it may be behind one of the doors that's locked. That's a bit of a problem if you want to use your key. So there is a way around this. Um, if you just kind of happen to just miraculously die at, at the door, you know, just by accident, you, you didn't purposely pull a mob and die at the door, that wouldn't be good. But I did try to die, um, just by accident of course, and a good guy mage saved me. So thank you to good guy mage, what was his name, I can't quite read his name but it's in the whisper there. Uh, he saved my life, so thank you for saving my life, even though I didn't quite want to be saved, but thank you good guy mage. Um, so now that we've accidentally died right in front of the door, if we then accidentally run back to our corpse and then accidentally run through the door and resurrect on the other side, you'll be able to pass through the door without actually having to unlock the door. So that's a way of getting around the door issue if you've not got it unlocked. So now that we're through the door, we're going to head through this passage and you want to be on the lookout for a chest. You'll get to see what it looks like a bit further on in the video. But as I said, there's always a chest up in one of the three rooms, or I should say one of the four rooms, because the main room can have a chest as well. So in this room, there's kind of like these uh, orbs that you need to click um, to unlock each room. So we've unlocked that orb, so we run across to the adjacent orb, and we're going to click this orb to unlock the next room. Now, there can be a chest in this room as well, but unluckily uh, there wasn't for me. So we're going to head on, carry on down the hall into the next room. These statues can come alive or they'll like try and ground pound the ground and try and kill you. Not very nice. And we'll head into the final room where there'll be like this coloured floor. Now the first stone you step onto is always the safe one. So for me red is safe at the moment so I can run across any red stone or tile without it being in danger. If I stepped on like the blue one for example it would try and kill me so it's not, not too pleasant. And then, yay, we found a chest. So that's what it looks like. It's an ancient Galai cache. It's got dragons on it. It looks very pretty. And you'll be able to use your key on that. Now, once you use your key, you'll have a chance of getting some lesser charms of good fortune. And then you'll have a chance of getting a blue or an epic item. And um, what these epic or blue items do is give you reputation. The blue one gives you, I think it's 150 reputation, while the epic one gives you 350. Don't quote me on the exact reps, but it does give quite a lot. And you have a chance of getting two, both the epic and the blue one, in one chest. So that could give you 500 reputation. It's just kind of a little thing to help you get exalted quicker, basically. So there you go. I hope this has helped you out. And this is a brief look at the Golden Lotus. So from the Golden Lotus, as a quick overview, we'll get Valor Gear, we'll get Justice Gear, we'll get the Crane Mounts, and we'll also unlock the Shadow Pan Monastery, or the Shadow Pan, sorry, and the August Celestial Dailies. So pretty, pretty important faction within Mr. Pandaria, and hopefully this has helped you unlock the dailies and start in the fun, fun daily grind. Yeah! So thanks for watching, guys, and look out for more of these reputation and faction overviews coming soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.